Hello everyone, this is Tricky. Ow! That hurts so badly. Why would you do such a thing? Help me. Hello. I got two of them. Oh lord. Why? Ow. Okay, I understand. I'm trying to make a video. Anyway, as I was saying before... Okay, we're not even gonna worry about the webcam. But besides Mega Slowbro and Mega Aldino, our last discussion was Mega Pikachu and how Raichu deserves a Mega Evolution a lot more than Pikachu. And obviously by the title and the layout, a lot of you guys wanted me to talk about giving the Evolutions Mega Evolutions. So let's do it. So naturally, we're gonna start off with Mega Evolutions. A majority of Pokemon fans adore Mega Evolutions, and I'm honestly one of them. Then again, a lot of people prefer that Pokemon get normal evolutions instead of Mega Evolutions, and that's completely understandable. And then there's also the people who don't want evolutions or Mega Evolutions completely because they're scared that it's gonna mess up their favorite Pokemon, or they just don't like change. But that is entirely okay. It's okay to have a different opinion. That's how the world works. So don't get mad if somebody doesn't have the same opinion as you. And note that this video was made in August of 2014. If there happen to be any Mega EV evolutions revealed in the future, or they release new EV evolutions, this was made before any of that was revealed. This is for the future. For science. But that leads to the first question. How do I feel about giving the evolutions Mega Evolutions? I'm actually not entirely against it. I It wouldn't be my first choice. But at the same time, I would love to see it because I love the Eevee evolutions. A lot of people argue that the Eevee evolutions may be overhyped and overrated. That may or may not be true, but I will happily admit that the Eevee evolutions as a group are among my top favorite Pokemon. I love them so freaking much. Not only are they super adorable, but they are extremely powerful if you know how to use them. And they could either be your downfall or they could be one of your strongest assets to your team, if you know how to use them correctly, of course. Each of the evolutions have their own pros and cons. Some are faster than others, some are more bulky, some of them have more weaknesses, and some of their special abilities could be very, very useful. They have such a variety that each of them can play a different role in any kind of battle that you play in, whether it's competitive or if you're just enjoying the story mode. So I would be pretty happy if they were to get Megas. Now do they need a Mega Evolution? I do not believe in this question anymore because Mewtwo, Garchomp, Salamence, and all these very, very insanely strong Pokemon are receiving Mega Evolutions. So, so I'm saying that a lot of Pokemon don't need Mega Evolutions, but anything is possible and I would not complain if they were to receive Mega Evolutions. All of the EV evolutions have a base stat over 500. I think it's 525. And and I view the EV evolutions as very strong Pokemon. But out of the group, there are some very weak ones compared to other ones. I have to say that maybe Glaceon, Flareon, and Leafeon have to be the weakest out of the group. Just when it comes to competitive. I mean, I, I use all of them in the story mode. But unfortunately, I have to agree that Flareon probably had one of the most poor movesets when the games first came out. Of course, they've been improving it over time, but I still view it as one of the weakest EV evolutions. And that makes me sad because it's so freaking puffy and cute and I love it. And I love freaking fire. But regardless, besides Leafeon, Glaceon, and Flareon, I do see the other evolutions a lot more than them. Like, I rarely see those three. So, giving them a Mega Evolution would probably be very beneficial to them. They need the boost. I would love to see them more. And of course, you cannot give one EV Evolution a Mega without giving the entire group a Mega. I would probably freaking rage. And that's why I'm still raging about Mew not getting a freaking Mega yet. Because, hello? It's clone just got a Mega, but no freaking Mew Mega yet. So the next question. If the EV Evolutions got Mega Evolutions, would I want to see type changes? I am iffy about this. If they did it correctly, I would be okay with it. Now, let's just give this random example. Say we have a Vaporeon and they give it a Mega and then they decide to change it to Water and Dragon. 
I would be freaking okay with that because that's kind of awesome to think about. But I would much rather a Dragon Eevee evolution altogether rather than a Mega Vaporeon with the Dragon typing, if that makes any sense. I mean, don't get me wrong, a Vaporeon with Water Dragon typing, that's cool. But along with additional types, most of the time it cancels out weaknesses, but also it can add on to the weaknesses of that Pokemon. But again, if it's done correctly, you won't have to worry about that. But I'm just gonna share a few that might make sense. They might not, but whatever. For Umbreon, Dark and Ghost, because that type is amazing, I love it. And whenever Umbreon shows up, everybody would cry. Another one for Umbreon could be Dark and Poison because its Pokedex entry says that it could spray poison out of its pores and its sweat is apparently poisonous or something like that. That's honestly pretty cool and they could build off of that, so you never know. One for Flareon could be Fire and Ghost just because I'm still waiting on a Ghost and Fire Fox Pokemon just because of Japanese mythology. For... For Espeon, maybe Psychic and Fire just because it is the Sun Pokemon, so maybe they could add on some extra firepower to it. And lastly, Sylveon. Maybe Fairy and Flying because if they happen to add Fairy Wings to Sylveon, it could fly and be all cute and take over the world. Fantastic. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see Mega Evolutions for the Eevee Evolutions and what type would you like to see them. So let's go ahead and move on to our second half of the video. Would I rather Mega Evolutions or New EV Evolutions entirely? Now, if you've been around for a while and you know me, you know that I want New EV Evolutions, like, right now. I was very, very disappointed when Sylveon was introduced just because it wasn't introduced in a pair like they always do. And I was expecting either a Poison or a Steel or even a Dragon type to be introduced along with Sylveon. But Sylveon was all by itself. I would definitely rather new EV evolutions over Mega Evolutions any day. I know it's very possible that they will eventually have an EV evolution for every single type, but they're still missing a whole bunch of them, so they better get on the ball. I need them. But the question for this section is, what is your top five types you want EV to evolve into next? For me, number five would have to be Steel. Number four would have to be Poison. And the only reason why those two were on there is because of Sylveon. Those were the two that I was honestly expecting whenever Generation 6 first came out. And they'll just be cool and I'm sure the designs would look completely amazing. Number three would have to be Flying because I've been waiting on a Flying EV evolution for a very long time. I have a huge obsession with Flying. Not just the Pokemon, but the complete idea of Flying. I'm the biggest sap in the world, but thinking about Flying makes me very happy. And a Flying EV evolution just sounds dangerous but very very cute at the same time number two is dragon because that sounds like perfection and beauty and grace and Jesus and number one is ghost I love the ghost type so much and I think I've wanted a ghost EV evolution for years now I would be happy with any new EV evolution any type whether it's bug fighting just let it happen just let it happen so those are all of my thoughts on Mega Evolutions for the EV Evolutions, obviously, and new EV Evolutions. Let me know all of your opinions in the comments below. Would you rather a Mega Evolution or a new EV Evolution? Or both? Let me know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, show your support for those EV Evolutions. And to stay more connected, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. I would appreciate it. And I would love to talk to y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.